latch here on the front was broke, so I just kind of made me a temporary one until I can get out and buy one. Pressure washed the carpet. My wife hand scrubbed all the furniture. Got a couple little places where some furry little critter decided to eat part of my upholstery. Like right there on this seat. So basically the inside is clean. What I have to look forward to is redoing the fuel system on this boat. And you know and I know that gas is set in this motor in the gas tank and then the lines coming back to the engine. Them lines need to be cleaned out. From what I can see down in here, the little squeeze ball feels like it's hard as a rock. The fuel tank is on the other side. Probably going to take that fuel tank out and clean it. Fuel tank access is right here. Ouch! Ooh, I think I broke my little finger. Ouch! Ooh, I broke my little finger. I pulled out this winch strap. It's 30 feet long. But it's a little bit sun damaged on the part that was exposed between here and here. You know it's got to be weak. I think I got to replace the whole strap. That ought to be fun. And the seats came out pretty darn clean. The little captain's chairs that everybody sits in where you see these poles sticking up. My wife hand cleaned, hand cleaned all those with bleach there in the garage. Couldn't find my boat key and I finally found it in the glove compartment. Finally found it in the glove compartment of my green truck. So later this week we're going to do the wheel bearings, change the tires, and I know we're going to get into extensive repairs with that engine, but I'm not putting it in the lake until I got it right. Oh, I haven't washed the outside of the boat yet. Um, one of my viewers said I could call the boat company and they would send me these decals and stuff like that. And that might be true on a Ranger boat or some boat that's still in production. But what I can find out on the line, Voyager boat over in Missouri went bankrupt. Another viewer said their dad was having trouble with the plywood decking rotting. But I'm, I'm almost certain I got aluminum under the, under this carpet right here. I remember they specified that when I bought the boat. It doesn't even feel like wood. It's definitely metal under there. It was kind of comical. I was up here watch, washing the other day. You see them fire extinguishers over there? I installed them myself. Well, the pin wasn't in that top fire, fire extinguisher. It squirts powder. I leaned on it like a monkey and squirted powder everywhere up there. So now I'm going to have to recharge that fire extinguisher. But from what I can see, really the main drawback on getting her in the water really time soon is going to be that engine. We will get her going, my friends. Oh, I didn't get a whole lot done today except that little ledge. When we woke up at... Today we spent most of the day fixing a flooded sump pump in the basement. 
They weren't no fun. Had some water damage down there. We had to clean all that up. And my knees are killing me from climbing up and down on that boat a couple days before that. We actually worked two solid days of cleaning that boat up.